Dave's doing a repair job on the Mosquito. Yeah, I've just done a uh, patch repair. It sits in there nicely. Rivet that down flush. What was wrong with it? Was it? It, it had um, three puncture holes in it. It was cracking out everywhere. And apparently, it's been there 50 years and it's just it just got round to um, wanting to repair it. So, yeah, yeah. Little, um, plates on the inside. Oh, yeah. That's where the cannons fit, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. 50 caliber yeah. guns. I don't know what caused the damage, but it said, like it said, it's been a long time. So. Yeah. Keep spotting things and yeah. get them repaired. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice change for me anyway. Yeah. yeah. And you're off and running with the stringers now, are you? Yeah, the new material's turned up. Good. Done the first two yesterday, so doing the next two now. So I've got the two, I've got the first two floor ones in. Have you had some painted as well? Yeah, I've got quite a few painted now. Yeah. It's got another five inch of paint today. Oh, good. We still need drilling out to the next size up. Yeah. yeah so they've something. got the pilot holes in. Yeah. Yeah, they're all they're all they're all gonna be at 2.4 yeah. and then when we get the skins on we'll drill yeah. them 2.4. Out, outboard to the skin and then go back 3.2 the other way yeah. eventually. Morning Keith. Morning Ed. You alright? Yes, thank you, are you? Yeah, apart from being a parcel freezer. You've got your bottom stringer in that part oh, what now. Oh, that's great, yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's, my, that's not so much like a stringer, that's um, Piece of extrusion T section. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. And you've got more. That's the same as that is, that's extrusion. Because this is an access panel. Oh, yeah. yeah. What for? To get into the engine control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Will you be able to rivet that and spin on as well? This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll all get rivet up. The only one that won't be is this one. Yeah. That's left off. Yeah. Because they have to have it off when it's installed on the wing it, in its position so they can feed all the uh, control through. Yeah. This is the French wing NX664. These slots are directly in line with number one engine. They are for fitting the brackets for holding on the rear engine subframe onto the rear spar web. On Just Jane, NX611, it fits in these slots but has been already been removed. I'll try to locate it so we can have a look at it. At the front spar there are two struts bolted onto the web of the front spar for holding the number one engine subframe. These will be taken off Just Jane and refitted onto the French wing. All fittings for the subframe from the French wing were missing or damaged. The two front subframe struts either side of the red semicircle. All equipment in this yacht will be removed and transferred to the French wing. These are three subframe bolts. Oh. 
Yeah, there's a bracket. You know the subframe's held on at the back by one bolt? Yeah. And there's a bracket. Do you know where it is? Can yeah. I have a look at it? We tracked down the rear support struts down to John, who was cleaning them in the paint stripping bath. It's, um, it's a cracking paint stripper, it's non, non toxic. It gets warm back, as you can see. And How you long take does it out. last the, um, once you've mixed it? Well, it all depends on how much you do, really. Yeah. It, it does deteriorate then. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the company come every now and again to actually change your business. Oh, well, that's good then. <clears throat> did it come off all right or did you have trouble? Yeah, it didn't come off at all. Because that would be a few years since that's been taken off, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, access is improved. No. Because you've got, you've got an access panel on the side of a little round one. Yeah. Which is big enough to get your arm in. But the, panel, the, but the backing plate which holds the anchor nuts on isn't big enough to get your arm in. <laughs> but there's another big one next to it and yeah. you, can, you can reach in. It's all feel yeah. right. You can't really see what you're doing. Yeah. We'll be giving the front to on, off the front to web. Yeah, well, same sort of treatment. Well, the back one on the French one is is corroded through here. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's me. Absolutely corroded through. The front ones, the mounting holes, one, one's bent over. Yeah. And it had the remains of a bolt in it. The other one's actually pulled through. So I don't know what's happened there because that's the wing which wasn't on the ground. It was a starboard wing and yeah, it was ripped it off as from the engine yeah, to the ground. Yeah. Let's uh, get into an interesting part of things moving along now. Yeah. yeah it's all been preparation and maintenance and servicing and yeah. restoring. Now you've seen big things now. Yeah. And, and, and it will get bigger as time goes on, you know. Yeah. But we'll come to a point where we, we won't be able to be able to change things around. Yeah. As well. We don't have the bit to change it around with and two just be impractical. Yeah. When it, when it comes to the centre section and the cockpit section, I really don't know how long it would take to repair those to work to airworthy. Yeah. Yeah, that centre section it she's not gonna tax it. No. No, it's, it's, we, can't, we, we can't have the French centre section because somebody um, set fire to the port wheel when it was on Wallace Island yeah. and the heat's affected the spar. Yeah. It's alright for static but for taxing around I wouldn't really trust it. Right. Um, yeah. Plus removing or well, taking the aeroplane to its component parts nearly just to replace the centre section yeah. and the amount of work it would take to actually put all the hydraulics and everything back in from yeah. the centre section because it is the heart of the aircraft yeah. it would just be yeah. you're spending more time on it yeah. than you'd really. yeah. so it would be out for about a couple of years then once you start it you think well at least one season one year yeah. Yeah. hopefully yeah, yeah. hopefully yeah. because we should have the out of wings done it the the fuselage rear of the rear spar all the way back should be done, the tail frame is done, fins where there's all that's done, it's just the cockpit section and, and the centre section basically. Yeah. The cockpit section is rather complicated because when you look in the cockpit there's an awful lot in there. Yeah, an awful yeah come through the post, keep the railings, then you just put that on to a message to Keith Leyland, who has not been well lately. The lads and myself say thank you for the chocolates. They were really good. And they all hope you are as well as can be expected. Merry Christmas, Keith, and a Happy New Year.
Dennis is making the formers for the treeing edge, while Dave cuts out the wooden pattern for making the last of the short formers above the tailplane in the fuselage. Sticky has made a start on removing all the control and pipe work from the front spar. Friday, the 1st of December. 2023. Keith's getting ready to leave. I spoke to him just before he left and he said he's only got a few more rivets to go in and the fuel bay covers then will have to be sorted out. The long skin at the top left will be fitted when the engine boys complete their task of fitting the engine control and pipe works which run inside the leading edge former. I was told that the two fuel bay covers will be fitted before it's fitted to just Jane. a picture of the door which Keith got to sort out. But This is the stripped down aluminium feed assist for the rear turret gun. So this Meccano set is what for? The, what I was filming the other week? The yeah, this is the, uh, the, the 50 cal guns of the rear turret, the Lancaster. Yeah. It's the um, ammo feed assistors. That's right. So they look like that when they're together. Yeah. And it looks like this when I'm taking it apart. <laughs> they kind of, um, yeah, drag his ammunition to the same the gun. So we're just trying to get it all stripped down nice and clean, yeah. resprayed and then uh, put back together again. So yeah, quite a few bits. Is it showing wear on there or is it just... Um, to be fair, it, it's, it's in quite good condition. So things like all the bearings, they're all, they're all in really good condition. Right. Um, so some of the internal gears, which are brass, are still, um, still very good. So I mean, to be fair, this, this, was, this was late. Um, a late produced unit anyway, yeah. so it wasn't used in anger. No, um, so it's just been sat. Yeah. Um, but even so, it, it's, 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 um, I think it's worn pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. Just to, um, the case of deciding how far to go, there's things like there's, there's an electric motor which feeds it. Um, but obviously, in this case, we're just going to make sure it's clean and then. Yeah. Put back together. We don't need to get the motor running because we're not going to be using it to no. it. So it's just make sure that everything looks looks right um, and will last many many years. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to being in that state where right? it's um, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's all right uh, Oh, good. Yeah, keep keep them busy. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, it is. It's nice to get it all apart and see see how, how it all works. Isn't it? Yeah, when you, it's such a simple thing to do to get ammunition from here to here. Yeah. You end up with a quite a yeah. relatively complicated piece of kit, but yeah, yeah very very effective. Very effective. Right, thank you. Um, take it.
Sticky has found damaged there. finger in one of the Merlin engines. This there. will have to be a pad replacement mm -hmm. from a chrome plated pad to a toaster pad. All these cams. Yeah. These one, this one is, yeah, and it's got um, a plug in the end rather than the grub screw. Yeah. Um, so normally the grub screw's in there, so it allows the gases to escape when they're brazing the, yeah. the little pad like. But yet again, I've got another. So these are all chrome, you never mix them up like? Um, you can do. Okay, yeah. You can do, but um, it depends on what we've got in. Yeah. We try to keep. Um, because I've not had to do this, I've measured all this and this is all correct. Yeah. But because um, it's just those N4 or those N8, um, hopefully we've got another similar one like that. Yeah. But what I tend to do is measure the, the width of that yeah. and hopefully get one that's roughly about the same. Because otherwise, you have to put it back together again, put it back on, measure it again, and see yeah. if there's any differences. Because sometimes you can get a so I shall we say that's a left hand one, you can fit that in any position? No, it's, um, it's a left hand exhaust or left hand inlet, uh, right hand inlet, so it can go like that. Oh, okay. So that, yeah. that one is the same as that one, it's just that one opens and closes the exhaust, that one opens and closes the inlets, because yeah. the inlets are, are far away from you. Yeah. So yeah, same as um, that one there, like that. I see, yeah. yeah. Oh, good, right, Sticky. That's a bit interesting. Thank you.